Well, hello there and welcome to Face Paint Club. Let me find this banner here and turn it off. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. <laughs> Not. Oh, there I am. Hello, hello. Yeah. It's Katie. Welcome to Face Paint Club. Lovely to have you today. We have a live workshop coming up for you all about arm designs and we have some wonderful people with us as well. I'm really excited to have you live with us or watching the replay. Um, so uh, today's workshop is all about arm designs and we have some wonderful guests with us today as well. Um, let me see if I can bring everybody up live. There we go. Um, add to stream. And I think everyone's here. Nope. There we go. Yeah, we go. All of us. Hello. So uh, I'd like to introduce you to our guests today. We have Kimberly Houlihan over in Western Australia. Hello. Uh, Ellie, also in WA. <laughs> Naomi Elliott, our special guest, a student from Face Paint Club. She is here to share. I'm sure if you've been in our Face Paint Club community, you've seen Naomi's beautiful flowers and roses. So she's here to share an arm design on that. So hey team, hello to Naomi. Hi. And Ratty. Ratty, would you study? Ratty is in Adelaide, South Australia. Hello, Ratty, how are you? Hi. Good, thanks. How are you? Oh, great, great. So great to have you all here today. Um, okay, so let me bring up this screen again. Uh, here we go. So today's um, masterclass, as I said, is all about arm designs. And arm designs um, are great because, well, for lots of reasons. Often little kids not really wanting it on their face and when they get it on their arm, they can have a look and see it actually happen and then they can walk around and admire it afterwards. So that's why arm designs are a really great thing to have up your sleeve, if you'll pardon the pun. Uh, also with arm designs, um, you can practice on yourself. So you can take your time to improve your skills and just practice different designs and just practice techniques right on your own arm. And as I always like to say, skin is the best place to practice. Um, another note about practice that I wanted to uh, add today is that if you've got kids uh, and they don't want to be painted on all the time, it's best to save the face painting for our own kids for special occasions rather than practice on them. So practicing on your arm is really um, a great way to go there. And the other thing is um, if you don't have kids, well, again, your arm comes into play. Uh, okay, so... Um, I'd just love to know if you're in watching today on YouTube and you want to say hello, please pop a note in the comments. So I think we see Sue. Hello, Sue. Uh, she's it's the first time watching and she's very new to face painting, home to learn ideas. Well, you're in the right place. It's great to have you here. Um, we also have Laura and she's in California. Hello, Laura. Uh, wonderful Ooh. to have you from the ocean. It's excellent. Uh, and um, now, I hope I pronounce this correctly, Huan Yin Lin. Hello, nice to have you here. Uh, all right, now, let's have a look at, uh, so yeah, you're welcome to pop in the comment at any time. I'll just quickly introduce our friends today. So uh, we've got Ratty here. As I said, Ratty's in Adelaide. She has been painting every day since 2017. Uh, also a henna artist, she paints on canvas, other things as well, a Ken Gardner and an instructor at the Australian Body Art Awards, as well as one of our favourite and wonderful instructors here in Face Paint Club. Uh, and um, who else have we got? Ellie Slattery. Upstage Entertainment is where you'll find Ellie on Instagram. Um, Perth WA is her home. She's a performer and uh, she does a lot of costume characters and party entertainment. So she's um, fabulous with the kids. Instructor at the Australian Body Art Awards, a face paint instructor and guide, and she's very busy with a toddler at home. Kimberly uh, from Mandurah and Western Australia. You can find her at Kyber's Face Painting. Um, Kimberly's a uh, trained artist and she loves doing sculpture and particularly clay work. I've been painting since 2014. Um, she's also very creative with other things. We we're just looking at her wings before, which were amazing. And Naomi is our special guest. She is a Face Paint Club um, member and student of our crash course who has just taken on and gone in deep diving with beautiful roses. Okay, so in this workshop, we're going to explore fun arm designs. Uh, and I just want to make a note that every artist is different. You should never compare yourself with another artist. Just take it on board here and uh, have a practice and a play. And um, have a go with it. So we've got uh, a Q&A coming up at the end, so please put your questions in.
for us. And I think we're ready to go into that. Um, where are we? Uh, who wants to go first? Anyone today want to be the first painter? Ellie's on. I think she's at hands. <laughs> Ellie, we'll pop you the screen. Uh, you want to be our first? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll bring in your second camera. Um, so Ellie's going to paint for us. Let's see here. Oh, hang on. Uh, I'm just learning to drive. We want. Hang on, remove. I'll pull this one out. Sorry, guys. Um, dear. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right. So Ellie has her arm ready. Tools of the trade, the arm and the brush. Uh, and I will just pop out and let Ellie take over. Um, lagging? It's not lagging, is it? It is lagging. <laughs> Very, very slow. It's not in it's not in my phone, but is that is that actually going at normal speed or is it looking what it is on the screen? Because that is ridiculous. It's so so. It's, so it's like time. looks good there. Uh, how about you start? And you, mm, yes. Let's it is, see. isn't it? Why is it doing that? It's technology. <laughs> it, it never cooperates when you want it to. Um, well, um, let's have a look. Because um, it seems to be working there in, in my actual phone. It's all nice and clear, but as soon as I look right. here, it's that's ridiculous. Okay, so, all right. I, well, do you want me to? I'll head over to. What's that? I was going to say I can either do it in this camera and just switch it around, or I can turn off my face. <laughs> well, we love to see your face, uh, but maybe because you, you're like getting two streams at once, it's just sort of draining a bit on it. So maybe turn one of the, maybe we'll turn your face off, not, not, yeah, see, see just works. for a moment, just and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, and I'll turn me off too. We'll just move things around and I'll do it back in this one because this is rubbish. Technology, eh? I'm going I'm to wiggle. Just try and do it this way. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm very, very sorry, guys. All right, Ready's up. Okay, so Ellie's just adjusting. This is technology. I had issues myself this morning. Uh, so, um, yeah, do you want to take it away? Have you got a design for us today, Freddie? Uh, uh, yes, I've got to call my husband. Okay, no worries. No worries. All right, while we do that, I'll just, while Freddie's doing that, I will just uh, bring up a quick chat about what is Face Paint Club. For those of you who don't know, we've been a Facebook group for quite some time as an offshoot of Face Paint Shop Australia, but now we're going independent. And Face Paint Club is our core belief is that you don't need to be an artist to be a great face painter. It's all about the whole experience and it's progress it's not perfection. So we're not aiming for perfection, we're aiming to have fun. And I don't want anyone to let the fear of not being good enough hold them back from Probably you know, painting just as a hobby or uh, from doing it as you know a business, so that's what we're all about. I see Reddy's come back in, so I'll remove that and uh, move. That's not a problem, right? <laughs> okay, so hang on, 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 all right, so um, I would like to do some crafty style. And firstly, I will use this um, Rainbow XO Art Split Ultra UV Rainbow. It's is so beautiful. So I'll start to make the base by doing, I like it. Make it really, really wet. 
so it'll give a bit of a splat color effect like there we go splat and a bit of random fill the space surround it then so we can have the main painting here so, little mess you see there we go so because it's quite wet i usually use this glitter to help it dry quicker there we go and today i would like to write i think my initial name I'll go with you can see okay Just like do it freestyle letter. Oh, forgot to do this. I'm using a feel but brush. bit of color there with the pink and then I'd like to add extra color I think I'll go with blue the fun thing about this tile is like you can just add any color you like the more colorful the better Here you go. Probably a little bit closer will be a little bit better. So everyone can see okay. Okay. Are you able to get Darren to like lean in yeah. just for a minute? Uh, yep. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay. Technology. Is he able to move a bit closer to the camera? Hang on. Um, are you more further? Oh, actually, you want to sit down? Um, here we go. Is it better? Yes, it is beautiful. Great. Is it better? Yep. Is it better? Sorry, I didn't know that I already started. No, no, Did no, it's you? All good. no. It's all good. <laughs> Just get it a bit closer. It's all good. All good. Yep. Um. Hang on. Where is? There you go. Excellent. Um. So should I start it again? No. From no, the no, beginning? No. Did you Did you know from the start? It's yes, all good. Yes, it's very, it's so, okay. It's all fantastic. So that's I got um my initial R W, nice. which I'm adding some pink from the uh, creative palette I'm, i use this pink and now i'm using this blue nice. such a beautiful color it's look like a bit like um very floss <laughs> color and let's like add bubble a bit gum. of bubble gum yes that's right so a bit of splat here splat there is i really like the there you go and um, I would like to add, still using filbert brush, I'm going to add a bit of black to outline them. Extra black. Splat here, splat there. Just really 
I really enjoy this kind of style because basically you just um mix all the colors and go free, go crazy. Bit in here, a bit of like dripping spray paint. So you're going for tripping, the graffiti effect. Yeah. Like Darren's been yeah. attacked by some uh, teenage graffiti artist. <laughs> yeah. He's been standing around the railway, the railway station. <laughs> yes, yeah. So I'm adding a white. So this one I'm using um, brown brush number three. I'm adding white now. So this type of design is really nice to do uh, with um, for kids' initials, and as you're doing with your own initials or yeah. your kids' names, yeah. Or you can just write cool or whatever you desire. It's really fun. Bit of like splat here, splat there. bit of starburst and actually um, I wet my brush really really wet and then I can add some splat mm. make it more oh. interesting <laughs> I've seen that done with uh, credit cards, but not, um, yeah, the brush. I mean, it's on hand, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, make it really, really wet and just splat them. Yeah. Basically a messy one, but I just love it. <laughs> well, you know, it's, a, it's yeah. a style you can really relax with. The graffiti is kind of loose and just, you know, don't have to be real precious about stuff. You just, it's all about colour and big and bold. And there you go. And then I'm doing outline for the letter. It's very girly. <laughs> a bit of like a paint drop. Um. As an extra, this is optional. Um, I'm going to add a little flower. Maybe here. And maybe another one here where the empty spot is. I'm going to add petal. Still using the filbert brush. And adding here. So while waiting, it's dry. I'm adding some glitter. I love and the flowers. Add to... a focal point to it, and a pop of color that really yeah. goes with with the whole thing. <laughs> and then a bit of lace wear, maybe here. Just still using filter brush. Change the color. And I'm adding dark green oh yeah okay so i'm using this um i forgot again <laughs> this palette like green and green and yellow and a bit more outline this one's uh for the kids who say my favorite color is rainbow much like myself uh, I'm just uh, gonna have all the colors. Yes. A bit of outline here. Can you see all right? Sorry, I'm too focused on the painting. Yep. To focus on making a mess. <laughs> and 
Oh, our music's going a little bit wonky. <laughs> uh, Let's try this one. And, yep, a bit of outline for the leaves. And a bit of... Just do outline for the flowers. And here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Quick and simple. As all colorful. So yeah, again with the for the base earlier, if you don't know, um I'm using petal uh sponge and I use this UV rainbow and I wet uh the sponge really wet. It's like splat splat splat. It's create really good, nice like a watery kind of effect yeah yeah so and it doesn't it's like not yeah. competing with the front like a background color yeah yeah so there you go uh, yeah. fantastic <laughs> all right I have just under, oh there we are <laughs> thank yeah. you darren thanks for stepping in again thank you darren she said, okay, she said okay. okay all right awesome. thank you you can go back to work again <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Freddie. That was brilliant. So, yeah, the, the yeah, thank you. style is like it was saying, it's just a really fun, loose style that um, oh, yeah. kids, especially teens, yeah, are really going to love. And you can get all those colors in and their initials yeah. or their name or maybe their boyfriend's name or whatever it is, you know, like you can, you can really play around with it. So, very cool. Loved it. Okay, we might um, hop on over to Kimberly now. Thanks, Freddie. Um, we'll catch up with you again a bit later. So let's bring Kimberly in. Hello. Can you hear me now? We're having a bit of sound problems. Hang on. Um, yes. Can't hear Kimberly. She can't hear us either, I don't think. Oh, can, do you want to say something now? I think I just heard some sort of sound. Can't, you can't hear me? I, all right. Maybe let's try, um, let's try this one. Unmute the mic, I to stream. There's Kimberly's artwork. Hmm, okay. <laughs> no, what's happening? Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. So the mic is definitely on. The sound is on. I'm like, um, troubleshooting. Okay, so. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know why it might be off. I know that it went off. I think Kimberly and I have been chatting in the background and it went off when we took L off. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see. I'll turn the background noise off. This is live. Heaps of fun. Background music off. I'll take Kimberly out and I'll bring her back in maybe. All right. Again? Just, well, <laughs> fabulous all right well uh i guess look we can paint um and we just have to go with it we'll just have to i'll put the music on and uh and we'll go with it and i don't know why the the mic isn't working that's um that's bizarre but yeah, I had, I had camera issues this morning. I had to do a backup camera. So Kimberly, she'll just prepare there and I'll bring her, um, her up full screen. Like this. There we go. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Uh, and um, and Kimberly, well, she just demonstrate something for us. She's got some, she's been doodling there while she's been uh, been waiting. I think from having a chat to her before, we we're going to do some. She was going to do some butterfly wings, and then freestyle that a bit. So I'll just bring in some music while we watch. Lovely. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about art. It's all you know. It's all visual. So it looks like Kimberly is using either a flat brush or a, I'd say it's a three quarter or it could be an angle.
So yes, the butterfly designs are fantastic for the face, of course, but they also make a really pretty arm design. And you can see how quickly Kimberly's pulled this one together. I'm thinking she's now using a, a floral brush, a petal floral brush. And she's going to do the double dip technique. So when you do that, you want to do that with contrasting colours like she's done there. And Kimberly has a really interesting technique of rolling the brush around as she does it, which I hadn't seen before, so I think that's really nice. Okay, beautiful. Um, Kimberly, someone is saying maybe your mic, can you unmute your mic at your end? Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Maybe not. <laughs> Okay. So Kimberly's only been painting for a couple of minutes here and she's already whipped up a really pretty design so fast. Uh, using a round brush now. And as she pulls that colour down, she presses to give it like a rounded end and the I mean, sort of teardrop shape with a rounded end. So she'll pull that colour through and then just press. Very pretty. Lovely. Okay, so Kimberly's using a glitter cream. Now the difference between the glitter creams and the and the gels is the gels will smudge your face paint, but the glitter creams can go over the top and not smudge anything. So that's something to keep in mind. So pretty. Now what teenage girl or little girl or mum just wouldn't love this one. It is just gorgeous. And the glitter is just it's subtle because she's got the, the sort of the silvery white colour, but it's just very pretty. Um, fantastic. Now, that's awesome, Kimberly. Don't, I don't think you can hear me, but I think that's fabulous. Um, <laughs> excellent. All right, let's see. Brilliant. I'll bring myself back on and say, awesome. You did great. Beautiful design. Um, and well done for doing it, you know, in the silence. So that's fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Um, we will hop on over to meet our very special guest this week, which is Naomi Elliott. Uh, we'll bring Naomi in and there we go. Hang on. And I might just bring everyone up because we're all keen to, where's Ellie gone? stream there she is oh we're all keen to say hello to naomi because uh we've seen naomi a lot in our face paint club and uh, naomi's only been face painting, i think for a couple of months is that correct yeah since the end of june yeah and uh just straight into the deep end and has obviously developed a real passion for flowers <laughs> and roses in particular it's really nice um so naomi can you just tell us a bit about like how did you start what brought you into face painting what what made you sort of start doing it? <laughs> what do you like about it? Um, so how I started was I um, got stuck in, I had the flu and when I have the flu or I'm sick, I do a lot of online shopping, much to my husband's <laughs> um, disappointment. And I do these impulse buys because I think, you know, I'm going to do great things with it. And I ended up impulse buying face paint from your shop. Um, so that was it. So I didn't it happened. Have 
<laughs> Had never thought about face painting before? It was just... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was watching like a lot of videos, um, like art videos, one stroke videos, and using them as a way to kind of um, relax and go to sleep. Uh, and then I kind of just saw some face painting videos, and then I was sick, and so I did my big purchase, and that was it. And <laughs> and so you uh, you got into it, and then um, you. How did you find it at first? Was it like, did you just straight off, it worked straight off for you or did you have to work it a little bit first? Um, look, I my first paintings, they were interesting. And, um, you know, I had lovely friends and, and you guys on the Face Paint um, Club group that was so supportive and you kept encouraging me. But, um, yeah, looking back on those first even now, still, I look at my painting and think, oh, like I've still got so much work to do. But yeah, a lot of challenges, and I still have challenges with line work, which you'll see in my video. Well, we're going to play that in a moment. But the point I want to make is like, it, it's about something that you do for yourself. Uh, if you, you know, you can paint kids, and that's fun, and that's a wonderful thing to do, and it could be a nice business. But it's also something you can do for yourself, and you've got to take that pressure off yourself and just enjoy the process. And, um, and you know, my my son is learning to play guitar, and he doesn't start out like you know the first time he plays, he doesn't play that good, but he keeps practicing and he keeps practicing, and each time he does that same thing over and over and over again, he gets better. So it's the same with any skill, and face painting is no different. And um, I don't think there's many people out there that have a massive natural talent straight out of the gate uh and but the thing is it's fun to learn and you know and so i really love seeing someone like yourself just get in there and go for it and uh and every day like every day i can see you just having the joy of of actual you know creating something and your beautiful roses yeah. so i think we might pop that on now we've got that video lined up so let's pop that on now if that will work for us uh here we are and uh Make this full screen if we can. Today we're going to be doing this rose design. So to do a rose, we start by making lowercase n with a half angle brush and then lowercase u. And then we do some wiggles and lifts and some swishes. I know, very technical terms. And then we're just going to put it all together. So this is an inside out rose. So we're starting with the N and another N. Then we're coming in halfway and doing a U. And then another U to join it up. And then we're going to wiggle and lift. And then on the other side, wiggle and lift. On the arm design, I do an outside in rose. So you get to see two ways. And then I'm just coming up the top to do a wiggle and lift mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to go on the other side and somewhere put an another wiggle in because who doesn't love to wiggle and then mm -hmm. I'm going to add some leaves leaves for me are generally problematic and I uh, don't have any advice on them except just keep practicing these ones aren't too bad. Uh, I tend to either overdo them or underdo them or, you know, don't ask me how to do the beautiful rose leaves because I just don't know yet. I haven't practiced. I'm just, just coming in with a number two round and I'm just adding in some highlights to make those petals look like they are turned. And then another tip is you can add in a, the darker color from the rose right underneath that just to create more contrast. At this point your Ooh. rose is pretty much done. Sorry about my hand. And you did it. All right let's go. So outside in we're starting with the petals first on the outside. We're aiming for five. Lots of wiggles and then I, with the same brush without reloading I'm just adding in those N shapes that I talked about and I'm going from biggest to smallest and then I'm I've reloaded now and I'm just adding in some more internal petals just to give it some more dimension 
and then I'm doing my end sh shapes again just to fill up those buds and then I'm coming in with the bud which is our end shape I've made it larger here and then I've joined those up with the U shapes the little buds and I'm going to come in and do another mm -hmm. end shape in the middle and then my half U and then another U and then a U coming around and now we get ready to wiggle 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 and lift wiggle 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 and lift and I went too far doesn't matter and I'm just joining these up with the U's beautiful and now I'm just adding in some whooshy lines uh, yeah. Yeah. Look, I don't know if that was a good idea but here we are I'm loading up my brush now with some blue I've gone down to a oh nice I think I'm still using the half angle here and I've got the lighter on the outside and the darker on the bottom and I'm just adding in some buds I try to use complementary colors in my arm designs uh, that's probably something my art teacher from school would be very happy about that I still understand about color theory because I don't understand about placement and uh, many things but I remember complementary and split complementary colors um, with the leaves you want to try and make them in a fan shape so have a larger and then two smaller but I rarely follow my own advice and it wouldn't be an arm design by me if I didn't come in with some white dots I do this for a few reasons one it brightens it up and two it kind of hides my misgivings And with the same brush, then I'm just going to come in and do some of the leaves. These ones are okay. Wait till I get to the other side. Disaster. Yeah, the camera was in the way and I just couldn't move the brush the way I wanted to. But even if I could, I probably couldn't do it properly anyway. I'm attempting some teardrops. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a design by me if I didn't stuff up my line work along the way. And I'm just coming in to do my turned in leaves, uh, petals, petals, turned in petals. I'm not adding the contrast underneath for this because I'm trying to make it relatively quick. Now uh, you can see how that highlighting just gives it a nice dimension and it kind of makes your rose look 3D on the skin. Then I'm just adding in some more white because hey, why not? We're already here, got the brush. I don't think I've reloaded the white now, I'm just kind of drying it off on my skin, mm. adding in a few more dry bits here and there, and yeah, hoping for the best. Look, it's not too bad, you get the general gist. I hope that helps. If you make this rose, let me know. Have a great day. Well, fantastic. That was wonderful. For context, Naomi has been painting for like eight, ten weeks, and wow, her roses. She's I struggled a long time to get roses anywhere near. So I think she's yeah, it's I think it's fantastic, and it just shows you how I think you you know how much you enjoy them. And I know I heard you say you know a few, we're our own worst critics, aren't we? Uh, well, we see our mistakes, but I, all I see is something really beautiful, and um, I really yeah, I love to see it. So thank you so much for sharing with us. Oop, Naomi's mic is off. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Yep. I was so inspired by, well, 
I'll have to say like a little bit of a fangirl moment because Elle, I have, she like kind of guided me along for the roses initially and I was like, I don't know how to do it and you're so supportive and then like Kimberly and Rati, like you all just have had my back since the beginning so thank you and you as well, Kate, yeah. I'm oh, so it's, great. it's just lovely to have you here and and it's great yeah you just all the things that we'd love to see someone just embracing it having a go and and loving it and and just to share that i mean yeah eight weeks incredible eight ten weeks whatever it is it's just amazing so thank you so much thank great you. To have you here beautiful great okay so now we're, and, and you know if live is it a bit laggy there with the live this is live stream and um, you know things go <laughs> but we're all, we're all doing a great job. Okay, so uh, we'll see now with Ellie. Let me see if we can bring her up solo. There she is. I can hear you. Fantastic. Now we're going to try and pop this one in too. It's, it's oh, bad. Bad. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. I think you have to move other people. So remove. Remove. Again. Oh, and remove. That's rubbish. What if, I, yeah, I'm, I'll do what I did before because it seemed to have worked. I'll get out of this. Is that better? Entirely. Uh, how's that? No? Oh, God, you've lost me entirely. Hello. I don't know where I am. I'm going to start painting. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Oh, no. I can't hear anybody. Okay, I'm leaving. Okay. So I'm just going to start painting and, yep, that's what's going to happen. You probably can't hear me at all, but that's fine. It obviously did not work what I tried to do, but that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to use the um, Delightful palette and I'm going to focus on this colour with the blue. And let's just hope. I'm going to put the dark colour on the smaller part of it because I want that in the very, very centre. I'm doing a peacock feather, by the way. <laughs> so you can hear me or not. Right, it says my mic's not muted, so if I'm just waffling on, it wouldn't be the first time. All right, okay, I'm just going to get that out of my way. Right. Okay, this is very, very simple, so I'm sorry about that. So, so that is obviously your centre. That happened, that's fine. That's the centre of it, and I'm just going to sort of bring that down. It's wet, but it'll dry in time, so that's okay too. Then I am going to get... A green uh, from the Elemental palette. While well, I'm going to quickly change over my colours because I'm actually going to go and put those colours in there. So it gets the blue, makes it a little bit blue. I hope this is working. I don't even know if I'm actually still recording, <laughs> but that's cool. All right, so I'm going to go over. Can everyone see? over like this woo, woo, and at the same time bringing things up like that going woo, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and what I'm doing is I'm pushing down and I'm flicking like that and then I'm sort of bringing color where I think it's it should be because it's a peacock feather and they're really pretty and they're very whirly they're quite whirly all right so I'm going to get a any simple round brush. This one is a uh, size one. Um, and I'm going to get a neon because I want it to pop in the right spot. So I'm going to get a neon here. I'm hoping this is working. Gosh. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around this part here. Just really like you can even bring that. Even around there, around there, around there, okay, wherever. I did not learn that at all well, but that's okay. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I find round brushes, and I know I'm going to get shot, but I find them really hard to work with. <laughs> so 
So I tend to just look, use liners, but I'm just I'm going to give it a go just because they are thicker and it will give more dimension to a feathery type style. And I'm also going to bring out that blue there because, hey, it's wet and why not? I'm going to bring it around. See how, see how it just draws out that colour? It's cool. Right. Next I'm going to, because I have done a... Um, there's not much of a shape in it before I go into the black I'm going to go into a blue made a wee bit darker by black so because I really like the dark blacks from the um XO block color palette I'm sure it has a name sorry Kate <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to completely using whatever way I feel like sort of create a shape doesn't really have any reason to it and then I'm going to do my river reed ones and then I'm going to go around there I hope I'm not left-handed and blocking the camera I just thought of that I'm going to go back in the blue I'm going to go how are we going okay the camera okay boom boom uh, just making sure I'm staying in that camera hold down hold down hold down river river so it's starting to look a little bit peacocky. Now I'm going to go into white using my same brush. Uh, on the job, I, ha I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm talking to myself. I may as well talk to my cat. Um, I would have about nine <laughs> uh, liner brushes because it's really the only thing I use except um, filbert and uh, round for dots. And I would... Um, just ha have them all there purely because I like to. I see that one's too fat, but it's all right. If you do, if you don't focus on it, I can make it go away. <laughs> right. So you've got your wee bit highlight there. Just put it put it wherever you want, and then let's have one that goes like a peacock feather, like that. And then the black. This is super, super fast. The thing that makes my, my designs not fast, technology. <laughs> yep. Okay, there we going. And then we're going to go. Very light. And I'm going to go around here for some reason. Yep. I'm just going to sing this one light because I don't think you can hear me anyway. All right. And then you can finish off by outlining some of the leaves if you want to, but, hey, it's really not necessary. Um, I'm going to get a neon. I'm going to go back in with that neon. Make sure the black's out of it best you can. But don't worry about it. If it does, just get a good wiggle. Try to get that black out. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and go dot, 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 Okay. Bum, bum. All right. There you go. <laughs> How's that? And then you can, yeah. Okay, I think we did it. Did you see it? I don't know if you can hear me at all. I just don't. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear someone. Yes. <laughs> oh, we, we could hear you. We love your beautiful singing voice. It's been fantastic. <laughs> love oh it. My no, we God. can see and hear you all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> all the way through. Oh, great. You're Wonderful. a natural performer, and I'm sure that carries you really well as a face painter too <laughs> when you're doing it. Too. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. So thank you. So you're the very one, welcome. actually tried a peacock feather, so that's really pretty. Uh, I can't wait to yeah. figure out that. So, yeah. And you, and, and um, you also and can um, add this because it's a perfect, per perfect color. This one, the vivid palette that they sold. You just yeah. put that in the middle, right in the middle, and then bang, Izzy. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> No problem. It's, it's a shame that our, our lag, you know, because we have a bit of a lag issue. We've all got it, I think. Uh, and it's a shame because it's a really beautiful design. But it's more it's like we get the gist of it. And, yeah. um, and 
uh, yeah, perhaps we can share it a bit later in the, like, the, oh, there you go. Look, it's just coming into focus. Look at that. Mm. Incredible. And do you want to show us the one you did earlier as well? Because, um, yep, beautiful. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. It's just make sure it makes sure it's so good at my house. Uh, uh, you haven't got started on that one, have you? Yeah, beautiful. And just the free, so I sure do. Talking, talking about mm -hmm. your river reeds, so you're flowing um, your teardrop shapes. Yeah. Where you uh, use the different pressure on the brush to give the thicker end mm -hmm. and the fine points, and just sort of relaxing yeah. that, that wrist. And it's really great to see you as a left-handed painter too, because I know we have people in, and it's it's like challenging. <laughs> if, if someone, if a child asks me to paint them on the other side oh, of the face, I'm like, oh, can't no, I can't. <laughs> It's like your brain is trained to work one way, so it's really beautiful to see your designs. Um, so yeah. thank you so much, Ellie. I think let's see. Um, Carolyn has a no. We could all hear you and see you and and pictures. Okay, so Carolyn is asking for pictures of the different stages of the peacock feather. So we'll see what we can do. Um, I've also with this recording, I've recorded it locally to my drive, so hopefully the pictures will be clearer at this end. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we'll find out in the mix. Um, right. So let's add everyone back in, and we'll hope that. Uh, let's have a look. Um, make everyone the same. All right. Get rid of that. Is everybody? I think we've got everyone here. Yes. Um, okay. So I think Kimberly. Oh, you just. Now, do you want to say something? You see if we work? No. Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> well, you know, these are the things that happen. Like, um, oh. yeah, last night I was sitting at my camera, oh, and it worked. And uh, and this morning my camera wouldn't work, so I had to get my webcam out. It's just these things happen, and you wouldn't be live without problems, uh, that's for sure. Um, so thank you for everyone for joining us today. Um, we do have time for Q&A. If you, anyone's got any questions, I'm not seeing any uh, either in the comments, um, but I do have some I prepared earlier. So you can, uh, you can certainly ask a question in the comments. I'll try and keep my eye on it for you. Um, but... I, I did prepare some earlier because I, we do often get asked um, these types of questions. And sometimes people ask us, uh, you know, do face paints expire? Um, what what do we need to know about um, face paints? So the shelf life, if unused, sitting on the shelf for face paints, is actually quite a long time and there's no actual recommended um, shelf life for a face paint that hasn't been used. But once you start using it, uh, you'll see that uh, there's a little... Oh, sure paint here with me just to show you. Uh, on the back is a little note, it's a little number in a jar and that might say 12M or 18M. That's basically 12 months uh, from first use or 18 months from first oh. use. So um, they, don't, um, they don't expire as such, but the recommended manufacturers do say if, once you start using the product, after it's like any cosmetic product, um, after you use it for a while, you should um, replace it. Oh, there we go. Elle's got, hang on, add to stream. Oh. I'll bring yeah, her up screen. full screen. There she goes. Oh, yes. So you can see down you, right there, we can see the 12M, that's 12 months, and that's from when you first start using the paint, not from when it's manufactured. Uh, and so that's something to keep in mind. It's not going to explode or anything. It's not going to be some huge problem. But, um, but yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. They do have um, a sort of a best before date based on when you start using them. And, of course, who can remember when they first start using the paints? I uh, get a marker, like a permanent marker, and I make a note there for that. Uh, let's have a look here. And um, I don't see any other questions yet. Uh, this is a good one, um, and I do see this from time to time. People, actually quite often, people need to work on their confidence. Never had a complaint, but very self-critical. What can I do? My only suggestion is to relax a bit and stop worrying so much. Um, I know it's, it's easy to say and harder to do, but we're our own worst critics. We don't need to. Um, we don't need to be so hard on ourselves. The kids we're painting aren't that critical. They're not looking for every mistake. In fact, they wouldn't even know that you've made a mistake. So I'd say if you if you want to improve practice and your progress, but uh, you certainly do not need to be perfect to be a face painter. And in fact, the best face painters are the ones that offer the whole experience of making the kids happy and uh, and that sort of thing. So yeah, don't don't get hung up on being um, you know perfect all the time I would say just just enjoy the process of learning um okay I'm not seeing any other questions in the comments um 
I don't know. Uh, I'll just I'll quickly go around and ask everyone um, if uh, Ratty can hear me. Uh, did yes. you struggle with confidence at first? Is that something that you had to to get to overcome? Oh, honestly, until today, I'm always nervous. I'm always like, ah, what did I do? This is, mine's not good enough. Looking at the other, oh, they're good. <laughs> always like that. But yeah, keep talking to myself. I'm okay. <laughs> I keep practice. I'm okay. <laughs> The but more yeah. you do it, especially if you go and, and paint kids and you see their reaction, it very quickly reassures yeah. you that actually you're doing you're doing a good job. You just have fun with it and relax. And uh, and the only way to get over it sometimes a fear is just to do it anyway. Um, I yeah. think uh, that's yeah that's how I feel. What about you, Ellie? Did you ever struggle with confidence uh, when I started? Absolutely, absolutely. I thought it was the scariest thing. The longer my line, which you know we all want longer my line the more I imagined in my head the mother's going she's slow she's very slow um <laughs> so that wouldn't get out of my head but it's, it's just time time yeah. and years and you just in the 90s sense take a chill pill the kids are there with you the adults are there with you they want to they enjoy choose. you yeah. you want to enjoy them yeah. Yeah. chill out <laughs> yeah and smile and have a good time with them because if you do that like kids sense fear, they're like dogs and they, you know, they, they want to have fun with you. They don't want you to be timid and like brave like a dog, yeah. like a chihuahua. Yeah, they're a big, brave dog. So what what do you do? You, I think you've mentioned in the past you sing to the kids. Uh, you, you talk and engage with them. What kind of things do you do to relax them if they're feeling a bit nervous? Yeah. Or, or relax yourself? Um, um. Singing. That, that's that's what I, I will do with them. Uh, otherwise, they are they if they start talking, they won't stop. So you you've got to uh, be on your toes and just ready for the insufferable amount of nonsense that they're going to spill. But it's wonderful, of course. Yeah. But you, you've yeah. you've just got to keep keep that train going. And um, they are they they're great. But for the most part, you just. They're not really that scared. They're more scared of, of what's going on. They're not scared of being painted. They're scared no. of the the intimacy, I guess. Yeah. Yes, come, having you, someone you just, come and touch you your face. Just be on their level. Especially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also all of a sudden they realise they're the centre of attention as well. They get into your chair and all of a sudden they're looking at them. Uh, and so you just need to relax them. I like to have little jokes or little little fun facts about if I'm painting a shark, I'll talk about you know, shark teeth or whatever and spider legs and I'll ask them. So, so you just sort of come down to their level, I think, and just relax and have fun with it and uh, and stop worrying That's, that's exactly right. Most of the time they'll want something that they're interested in, like a spider, and then they'll tell you about the spider that they found but didn't catch and then it ran on the grass and then over at the grass they saw its feet and you're just like, okay, you this story is going on for hours, but that's fine. That's that's what will calm them. That's what will get them to move and giggle yeah. less. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's a good one. Uh, and they walk away and feel happy. So I do, I've got a question here. Let me have a quick look. How long would you, on average, take per child? So uh, a quick question. Well, since we're talking to you, Ellie, uh, what is your average time? We'll get to Kimberly. Five minutes. Five minutes for Kimberly. <laughs> what about uh, you, Ellie? What? Depends what time. Rose is two minutes, um, but yeah. you know that they're super super quick, and it depends yeah. on the design. So on average, yeah, four four minutes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, painting fast is cool. kind of for kids, when you're doing kids. It's like you've got a long line. And no one wants to wait too long. So faster, the better. And also, if you're paying, mm -hmm. doing paper face, the more you paint, uh, the more money you get. So. Um, they're, they're doing their really elaborate designs. They're lovely to practice and, and enjoy at home. But when you're out in the field, I, I always feel like I'm a, like I aim to be a fast and fun face painter. Give them a lovely time and uh, and move them onto the next out of the chair and keep the line moving. So that's kind of a, yeah. I'd say anywhere between four to seven. If I'm doing if I'm going to do a like a design that takes a while, I'm going to charge a lot more for that. If I'm doing paper face. Uh, because yeah. I want to kind of, I want to show what I can do, but I want to discourage people from choosing it in a way because that's going to really slow me down. Um, and I don't offer those complicated long designs on on those events where I'm paid to be there. Um, I just I keep, I don't show all those things. I don't do full face tigers when I'm paid to be there as a, like a, one of those big corporate events where you're doing lots of kids. Birthday parties is different. Um, but, yeah, horses for courses. Kimberly's five. What about you, Ratty? 
Um, yeah, under five minutes. But I usually sometimes when I'm just like just about to pick up, some kids came back to me and can I have another one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I always prepared myself like less than one minute, like really quick. Sometimes I just do like butterfly, and then yeah. uh, off you go. Done. <laughs> I pick up and go. <laughs> but yeah, it's always prepared yeah, with a you know, super simple one, and then yeah, average under four minutes. Yeah, have the, have the fast ones ready to go and uh, and keep it simple, especially if you've got a really long line uh, and, yeah, otherwise you can't be doing 10 minutes per face when you've got a long line. No. It's different at a birthday party because you, you have a bit more time to relax into it and you haven't got so much pressure. So it kind of depends on what kind of event you're doing. But aim to keep designs under five minutes uh, on the gig and, and less if possible, and that will, yeah, help all the way. Um, we've got another question. Did you have photos of what designs the kids could choose at the first gig? I did, but I regretted it. What about you? <laughs> I, I had to put it away, the photos, because people were, like, choosing all my complicated stuff. I was like, uh-uh, that was a mistake. No photos? No, I, I used uh, boards, so, um, like boards um, that had little faces and that you could repaint as you wanted to change up your boards, not photos, no. Um and I did that for years, actually, because I think that was a, it was sort of a confidence thing, but it was more of a, hey, look at what I can do. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, as I, probably in the last two years, I just went, no, you know what, tell me what you want. And, oh, except for paid, it, like markets, paid per face, I'll have boards. I have definitely have boards. Yeah. But at parties and things, no, I just like, whatever you want, just, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, the risk of having having a photo board is that they some kids, most kids are relaxed, but some were like, ah, oh, it should be exactly like that one there, and it's not good because never even you know when you if your own designs are always evolving and colours are changing and whatnot. Uh, so that is the risk of. But you know when you're doing paper face, you kind of need to show what you can do, and um, I, and that's why I'd recommend having a, like a pricing structure if you like a tiered pricing for paper face. That way you can show off your best work, but that's going to cost, and so most of you. Painting is going to be your fast stuff, which is, you know, at the lower lower price point, at the, at the start of price point. Um, Rally, do you have a picture board, a photo board, or a list? Uh, when I started, I have my own picture. Like, I have made my own design and I print it out. And then by the time there's sometimes when I have to work with other face painter and then the kids pointing on my design and my other face painter said, I don't have that colour and I can't do that. And since then, I've took all of my pictures down and I don't also I I'm not brave enough to ask can I please take a picture of your children now no I don't do that so that's why I don't have many pictures mostly just my own pictures and then yeah sometimes I, got, I can just show you here's my phone I give oh, I have one folder just for my painting and which you like which, which one do you like so like oh if you want to you google it I'll paint it for you but I yeah these days I don't just just list make it simple yeah, and the the um, mistake a lot of first uh, beginner face painters do is putting up someone else's photos, and you can never really paint. Often you can't paint like that, and especially as a beginner. So if you're starting out, you're not sure where to start. I think okay. the best thing I would do is have a word list with picture icons of what they are. That leaves it a bit flexible. Or you can, as as Ellie has done, is paint. Um, you know, you can paint your designs on a, on a picture face or whatever, and then display that. Take photos of those and display those. But putting other people's artwork up gives. Um, um, it just puts a lot of pressure on you and the kids are going to walk away going, it's nothing like that. So that's why it's probably best to go with a word list as you're starting or doing your own um, yeah, your own painting at home and then taking photos of that and then showing that. Um, and one more question before we go, which is what uh, someone asked me this the other day, what are the most requested designs? And uh, my experience, it's usually whatever I paint the first designs on that day look like that's what everyone will want that day. Sometimes I think, oh, I've never been yes. dolphins. And other times I've done like heaps of dolphins because I did one early on. So, um, Raddy, what would you say your top five designs are, favourite ones to paint that are, that are popular, what do you reckon? Unicorn, butterfly, Spider-Man, tiger, <laughs> uh, dinosaur or dragon. <laughs> right. Yes. yes. Um, and everyone, Kimberly, okay, I don't think we can hear you still. Yeah, no. So what about you, Ellie? Yeah. Definitely unicorns, rainbows, um, butterflies, uh, flower crowns. Yeah, that's uh, and boys, Spider Man, Batman. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. So I think yeah, I did a menu board once. I forgot to put yeah. unicorn on but it. But I just, I love yeah. it. Sorry. What was that? Sorry. Yeah, the I said I love to push <laughs> okay. flowers. Love yeah, yeah. All right, okay. So I think we'll wrap we'll wrap it up. Kimberly's been look. I'm just going to show what uh, Kimberly's been doodling here while she's been. Look at that. Wow. Well, she's been busy painting uh, while we've been. Is that mine? That one. Yeah. I can hear myself. So you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I've done it. I told you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so the it was my dog this time. Uh, okay. Like so what have we got? Yeah. We've got coming up, we've got right Halloween now. designs. We've got another live masterclass coming up uh, next month. So we're doing it on the fourth Thursday of the month around 11.30 a.m. Eastern uh, Australian Eastern time, which could be any other time in the rest of the world. I think it's 9.30 a.m. in Western Australia. I think, yeah. So anyway, we, we're doing it on YouTube at the moment, so that will tell you the time in your time zone and uh, we'd love to have you join us for that. I hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, if you have, I'd love it if you would uh, show our, our instructors today um, a bit of appreciation, say thanks in the comments or whatever, uh, give us a like. I'm just trying to find my banner, which is here to remind you to... Uh, to let us know you appreciate our efforts. Uh, sorry about the lagginess, but look, this is live. Uh, we're real people and real things happen. Um, it has been my pleasure to have everyone with you today. My name is Kate Matthews. I'm from Face Paint Club and Face Paint Shop Australia, among other things. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.